Okay, something that's um, very common in chemistry is finding out concentrations um, and dealing with molar concentration. Molar concentration is sometimes called molarity. This means moles per litre. So that means you, your concentration is going to be equal to the number of moles that you have divided by your volume, which is going to be in litres, because it's in moles per litre. That's where your concentration formula comes from. So C equals N over V. Here's a couple of example questions, and I'll just go through how we're going to go about answering those. So if we have 10.7 uh, grams of ammonium chloride dissolved in enough water to make a 800 ml solution, what's its molarity? Molarity, you're looking for C equals N over V. And you want C of, well, sometimes we use actually square brackets for concentration. So square brackets NH4 Cl equals N over V. I haven't got my number of moles, I've got a mass. So therefore my number of moles of NH4 Cl is going to be equal to my mass over my molar mass. So therefore that's going to be equal to 10.7 divided by my molar mass of this which is 53.5. 10.75 divided by 53.5. That works out to be 0 0.2 mole. So therefore I substitute that into here. So my 0 0.2 mole divided by my litres. Now this is 800 mil. I need to convert that to litres so it's going to be 0 0.8 litres. Divided by 0 0.8 equals um, that divided by 0.8 going to be 0 0.25 molar. So capital M is my unit for molarity, so therefore um, that's my answer there. Or I could write 0 0.25 moles per litre, and that'll be the same thing. Now, moving on to the next one, how many moles? So how many moles of CaCl is required to prepare a 2 litre solution of that? So obviously I've got number of moles equals m over mr. However, that's not going to be no use for me at all because I haven't got a mass. I've got volumes and concentrations. So I need to know c equals n over v, and I need to rearrange that to find n. So n equals c times v. So rearrangement is like that. So therefore that's going to be equal to my um, concentration, 0 0.7, times by my how many litres I have, which is 2. And that's going to be equal to 1.4 mole. And that's all I have to do for that one. Next question up is how many grams do I need of potassium nitrate to create a 800 mil solution of 0.14, sorry, 1.4 molar? So looking at this, I know I need my grams. That's my mass. Mass equals number of moles times molar mass. Now I haven't got a number of moles, but I do have, what have I got? I've got volume and I've got concentration. So therefore I need to work out number of moles. Number of moles, as we worked out before, was N equals C times V. Uh, and you'll get used to some of these rearrangements. And C N equals C times V is really important to know. So that's going to be equal to uh, 1.4 times. Remember, this has to be in litres. So it's 0 0.8 litres. 0 0.8. And then go back here um, and go... Whoops, let's just try to study that. 1.4 times 0.8 gives me 1.12, and that's mole. So therefore, to find my mass, 1.12 times by my molar mass, which is 101.1, uh, and that's gonna be equal to times 101.1, gives me 113.2 grams. Um, that's how I'll go and work out my, my grams. I first of all write down my equation, and then I follow through to work out what my number of moles is, substitute that back into my equation over here. Uh, last question here is calculate the volume. So calculate the volume of a 3.5 molar solution made from uh, that many grams of sulfuric acid. So if I want to work out volume, I know that C equals N over V. So therefore I'm going to rearrange that to find my volume. So that means CV equals N and V equals N over C. I need to first of all get that back to the top and then I can rearrange it. So I get my volume equals my number of moles divided by my concentration. Uh, number of moles I don't have but I've got mass. So I've got number of moles of uh, H2SO4 equals mass over molar mass equals 49 divided by uh, 98.1 which is my molar mass of sulfuric acid. So bang it back into my calculator here, 49 divided by 98.1 gives me 0 0.499 mole. 
and then I've got my number of moles. I bang that straight into my equation over here. So my volume is going to be equal to 0.499 divided by my concentration, which is 3.5. So that's going to be equal to divide, oops, not times, divide by 3.5 gives me 0 0.143 um, litres or 143 mil. Main thing is um, you are using these equations. So you're using uh, concentration equals number of moles divided by volume and you're also using number of moles equals mass over molar mass and you're using the rearrangements of those. Always, when you're doing calculations, write down your equations and play through it. Hopefully that helps, and yeah, keep studying chemistry, it's fun.